Okay, I'm on my way. Uh, I just discovered uh, someone peed on the beanbag chair down here. And I don't know, I guess maybe Logan did it overnight. Or maybe it was somebody completely new. Logan's been locked up since breakfast though. So if it just happened, it wasn't him. That's confusing. And then someone peed in the basket that they all got carried down in. I'm just going to blame Brawley for that one again. So it was Brawley her. It was Brawley her. <laughs> uh, mm, oh, i got to close these windows. Hang on. There we go, that should even out the light a little bit. So we have everybody down here right now, except uh, Serenity and their mom, Puddles. Um, Serenity, because she's a little too shy and being down here in a new place would probably stress her out more than she would enjoy it. Um, and then uh, Puddles isn't here because she still hisses at everybody. And she's really not gonna start any trouble, although she might, and so with so many kittens in such a confined space, uh, she might get a little upset, but uh, generally, she doesn't cause any real trouble, but she does cause a lot of distress to the other cats by hissing at them all the time. I see that uh, Ramekin just let herself out into the cat run. It's so cool that that class can do that. And uh, this morning, I'm sorry, a little out of breath from running up and down the stairs so many times here. Uh, I got to start working out again. It's been a long time. I don't think I've done any workouts since COVID. That's a long time. Uh, whew, I'm super out of shape. Anyway, uh, there is some news this morning. Uh, actually, I got the news yesterday, but I haven't done anything about it yet. And hopefully today I will get a chance to do something about it. But the news is that we have officially announced adopters. Uh, I should say uh, they've been officially announced to me. I haven't announced them to anybody else until this moment. Uh, but we do have official adopters for um, everybody except Teaspoon, naturally, because um, I told Dawes they might want to wait a little while for Teaspoon since he's got that surgery coming up in four months. And uh, I, I think it makes more sense, just like we did with Millet. If you remember Millet, I think it makes more sense to keep him here so that we can take care of that uh, for everybody and make sure that he's okay uh, and then get him adopted out. Uh, at least that would be the plan. Now, I thought this might happen. Uh, little Goblet does not like the younger kids, and she's having a standoff right now with Brawley. Do you want to go out, sweetheart, so you're not stressed? Do you want to go out? You don't have to be in here with everybody if it's going to bother you so much. I'll tell you what, we'll give you one more chance. Okay, if I hear you making trouble with the kittens again, you can go out for mailbag. That's okay. She's immediately going to the kittens. Uh, she's gonna, that's your brother. You know him. Yeah, you want trouble. Come here. Come here, trouble. Okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, I know everybody probably wants to know who are the adopters and uh, what are the adoption, you know, pairings. And we will announce that soon enough. I definitely would like to reach out to the adopters first. Of course, if you are one of the adopters and the people from Dawes have told you that you're approved, then you don't have to wait for me. You can announce that yourself whenever you want. But um, my usual process is to send an email or, or reach out on Discord to anybody that is an approved adopter. Make sure that they know that they're an approved adopter and that it's okay for me to announce them in the announcements channel or if they'd rather do it themselves. Um, and then uh, we schedule a date for the pickup, which can be any day now since they're all technically ready to go. Uh, it could, adoptions could even technically happen tomorrow, although it would put me in a little bit of a bind because I have not sorted the endowments yet and it is a mess down there. Uh, I put up shelving in the basement so that we would have a place to sort all the endowments and keep things nicely organized and uh, I haven't used it. The shelves are empty. I have used it, but it's not in use currently. The shelves are completely empty and all the endowments are in cardboard boxes on the floor just like always. So uh, we've really got to update the processes for that a little bit. Um, but uh, nonetheless, um, you know, if somebody did say they wanted to adopt tomorrow and pick them up tomorrow, I would find a way to get it done today. Uh, you just, uh, it, that's always what takes priority. The adoptions always take priority. In fact, I've said it before, but I don't know if people realize how much I mean it, that, that really 
all of what we do online for Kitten Academy is for the purpose of getting these kittens adopted. It's the number one important thing that we need help with, you know, all the time is getting the kittens adopted and uh, finding adopters and especially finding adopters that uh, we always hope will sort of be involved in, in keeping in touch and letting us know how the kittens are doing so we don't have to miss them so terribly much. Uh, I will admit that, that I, was, I was a little choked up when I heard that this class all had their adopters now because um, it's, uh, I'm, I'm going to miss some of them. <laughs> I'm going to miss all of them, uh, but, but some of these kittens have really made, uh, have become a real special thing for me. So, um, and especially, I think Spork and Spatula are the ones that I, I feel like they just, they follow me around so much and they've been so involved in things. Uh, it's, it's really going to be tough to see them go. So, all right. Uh, let me check to make sure that the camera's working, that the sound's working, and uh, is there other news? Is there other news? Let's find out here. Hi. Oh, uh, this is um, this is uh, uh, Squall. It's one of the very tiny kittens. So we have three different ages of kittens here for mailbag today. Um, okay. Nobody's complaining about anything. Where is the Squall has really wanted to explore things lately, and so has Wellingtons to a slightly lesser extent. So that's why I brought them up here for mailbag. I thought they might actually enjoy it down here for mailbag, I suppose. I thought they might actually enjoy it. Um, although it looks like Wellingtons is taking a big old nap right now in the snoozer. Uh, that's cute. He is a snoozer in the snoozer. So very appropriate labeling there. Uh, what is, I'm just trying to think if there's any other news. I guess there's nothing else that we need to cover right now except for the fact that all of the kittens do have adopters except, like I said, Teaspoon is kind of on hold in that regard. For all I know, Dawes may already have someone in mind or there may be somebody, uh, you know, that, uh, that has applied. I think that probably a few people have applied. Um, but uh, that's, a, you know, that's a whole other thing. So, oh, go right up to the camera, buddy. That's so cute. I hope that Squall can find her way back here when she decides that she wants to. Oh, well, that was quick. Uh, you didn't go very far, so that wasn't much of a challenge, was it? Okay, um, so before we really get started, uh, first off, I don't want to forget to mention a couple things that arrived to the house. Uh, first off, I, I think the week before last, uh, I want to say LFS sent us some disposable aprons that we could use when we were visiting the kittens and I was getting poop all over me constantly. Thank you so much for those. I didn't get a chance to use them yet, but I put them with our PPE so that they can get used and will. Uh, so I appreciate that. Um, LP Cats sent us a product called Poof. I think that's what it's called um, with a PH and it is a like a... Um, cleaning product or deodorizing product for litter boxes and cat messes, which I'm excited to try. It's on the kitchen counter right now, so thank you so much for that. Uh, I feel like there was one other thing that I'm forgetting. Maybe it'll come to me, but um, I did also wanted to mention this because, um, you know, so often I'm, I'm reading through the mail and I, I read things to you guys that say, all right, this is okay for mailbag, this is okay for mailbag. But you don't usually get to see the other half of that because usually I, I sort of pull those aside in advance and they never even come in here. So this is one that I got that says, maybe not live stream friendly, but filled with love. And um, I read it this morning and it was really touching and I want to say thank you so much. And I, I folded it over so that I could um, uh, remember your name is Mama Elk. Uh, I assume that's on Discord, Mama Elk. Uh, thank you so much for sending that. And you also sent this beautiful artwork uh, that I, I saw this. I immediately thought of what an amazing use of color that is. And then I read in your note, it was, it was done by your two-year-old and I think, wow. That's going to be a future artist, and uh, this will be extremely valuable someday. So I'm putting that in the vault. Uh, but Mama Elk, thank you so much for your kind words, and uh, I do I do greatly appreciate it. And I just I, I wanted to just take this as an opportunity um, to to mention you know that that people do send us stuff that's not for mailbag, and I read it, and I I definitely do appreciate that. And if you um, have something that you'd like to say that maybe, you know, you think wouldn't go over so well if I read it, uh, that's perfectly fair. Did you just climb all the way up me? Wow, that is ambitious for a tiny, tiny, uh, wait, no, you're a medium tiny. Oh, this is Bud, of course it is. I thought it was her for a minute because Bud's so light under all that floof. 
It's Bud, though. It's our little boy, Bud. All right. Um, they have done some climbing already, but just to the top of this carrier, which still is quite a feat for these little guys. Um, but yeah, we still haven't gotten them to eat real food yet, and we still haven't gotten them to use the litter box yet, which are going to be big milestones, because once those happen, I can take a real load off of me. Um, but until then... They're, they've been really a joy, and they now can go, you know, eight hours without needing any attention, so I can get a full night's sleep, although in practice, I don't think that's actually happened yet. Uh, we've been close, so that's, a, that's an improvement for sure. Okay, uh, we have some other letters here, and there's a bunch of stuff in today's mailbag that I'm super excited for, so it's going to be a fun one. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take, though. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is my notice that uh, our, we have to pay the fees on our post office box, which I did, by the way. It's funny, I sent them a check by mail, and then I went to go pick up the mail. I picked it up yesterday, um, so I wouldn't have to go the, early this morning. I, I picked up the mail. There was a note in my mailbox with the check. Uh, the check was in my mailbox with a note that said, you didn't sign this. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't sign it, which is... I, I don't know what I was thinking. It was just real, real dumb move. So I signed it and gave it right back to him, and that was fine, but it was kind of funny. Um, and they've been sending me notes that are like, you know, you need to pay it. Uh, so that's what that was. All right. Let's see here. Hi, look at you going everywhere. You are such a big explorer. Oh, my goodness. And uh, emphasis on big. She is a big kitten. All right. Let's see what we got here. If I can. Wow, what is that made out of? Titanium? That is some envelope. Or else we've got a really bad letter opener. Oh, I see. All right, I it must have hooked it inside this plastic thing inside. And now I think I know what this is. I think some of you might be able to guess as well. Uh, let's see, I don't want to put that with the envelopes because we'll toss it. So I'll put it over here. Okay. Okay, to read on live stream, of course it is. Thank you, though, for saying so. And it says, Dear Mr. A and DJ and all the furries, just a few lines to enclose two copies of a poem I've written for Puddles. As always, one copy is for the Academy, one is for Puddles and her adutive family. Uh, it has been fascinating to watch Puddles and her kittens undertaking their studies at the Academy, and Puddles has really proved herself to be a super mom. Although I know that, as I do with all the Fosters, I shall miss seeing this beautiful furry family. I temper this with the knowledge they'll bring great joy to their adutive families and have wonderful lives. There have, of late, been some challenging times at the Academy. However, the Academy's humans have pushed through these with their customary dedication to and love of the kitties. And for that, I offer my heartfelt thanks. Anyway... I hope that Darling Puddles likes her poem and that she and her kittens will be blessed with only the very best that life can offer. With lots of love and very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. Thank you so much for that. I'm trying to keep one eye on the kittens while I'm doing this and I've lost all track of where the little girl is. Oh, there she is. Okay. She's wandering amongst the packages. All right. So let's take... Our note from Joanne. I'll take your letter and one of these, and then I can leave the other one in this nice plastic wrap for the adopter. There we go, just like that. Uh, I'll have to put it with the endowment so it doesn't get lost. And for now, I'll just set it there, and we'll read this poem. And it says, A poem for puddles, uh, precious puddles. Where, where did she go now? I don't want her to get into the uh, under the mail pile and... I don't know, push something over that she's not ready for. I think she did, though. I mean, get under there. Let's, uh, let's just get rid of a little of the potential kinetic energy here. Lower everything to its lowest energy state, at least until the floor falls through. Okay, there she is on the other side, anyway. Okay, uh, sorry, a poem for Puddles, Precious Puddles. Puddles, you're a cutie. Puddles, you're so sweet. Puddles, you're the kind of kitty that is in perfection so replete. Puddles, you're amazing, a mewing ball of fluff. Puddles, you're a special girl who for all her kittens just cannot do enough. 
Puddles, you'll soon be leaving to go to your forever home. So, wherever lay your paws, although it will be many miles across the pond, please know every day that I'll be thinking of you and that of you and your kittens, I shall be forever fond. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Joanne. And uh, I know that her adopter will also appreciate that. I'll put that copy with my letters and uh, the other one will go to the endowment pile, hopefully. I'll put your little paper clip here so none of the kittens decide that's a great toy, as they probably would. I think, I don't, I felt like there were more letters than that, but then I also had some notes from the post office that I got rid of, so maybe that was it. Um, and I've already lost that letter opener, too. I'm so good at this. All right, well, there is another letter opener right here. Let's go with that. Aha, uh -huh. I think this might have a local newspaper in it. Uh, it's also taped shut all the way around this letter opener. Oh, oh, there's a gap in the armor. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. I am constantly losing track of that little kitten. I'm not good at doing two things at once. Well, I feel like I'm, I feel like she's probably okay. Uh, the note. Don't know if this is a small town newspaper, but this one has us on the front page going into Eurovision. Wow! Oh, from Piff. Piff, I'm so glad to hear from you. Thank you so much. Wow. All right. Well, let's just take a look here. Iceman Killer is stabbed in prison. Is that you? Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. It's this one. Time to party. Eurovision fans queue round the dock for first live show. Is that... Oh, that's us. Look at that. You've got little arrows pointed to yourselves. <laughs> that's so cute. Uh, that's quite a line. My goodness. Well, I'll show everybody. It's pretty tiny. It's not like we're going to uh, be exposing you to the whole world here. Uh, pay no attention to the Iceman Killer and the tragedy that has befallen him. Uh, so that's you guys here. And if you can't tell, the line goes all the way back and all the way around this curve and all the way back into the background and all the way off this edge of the, the uh, page. And apparently you're almost at the front of it. So uh, you do say halfway, but... Uh, you look like you're pretty far along there. How cool is that that you're on the front page of the paper? Uh, that's great. And this is the Liverpool Echo. Well, that's, that's, that's super exciting. It's how cool is it that you're on the front page too? Huh. Uh, thank you for sending that along. I'm going to enjoy reading through this and, uh, you know, just about all the news. So uh, hopefully there's a, probably a bunch of little local ads and stuff in there that I can enjoy as well. But that's super cool. And it's great to hear from you and to know that you're doing okay. Um, so that's, that's wonderful. Okay. Um, I'm trying to decide where we go from here. There's some stuff I'm really excited about. In fact, I'm going to start right off the bat with... I probably should save this one for later, but I noticed something. Uh, we have a package here that says it is from Sarah Donner. And I assume that is the one and only Sarah Donner that uh, is the musician, the wonderful musician who also fosters kittens and, I should say, also started a charity. Um, so uh, that's, that's cool. That's something that's been on my list to do forever, and it's been sort of fraught with problems. Uh, but she managed to cut through all that somehow and actually get one created, so I have mad respect for that. Uh, that's Sarah Donner. Um, D-O-N-N-E-R. If you don't know her, you can look her up, and she does make some great music. Some of it is about cats, and some of it is about, uh, I don't know, uh, random geekery, and, and some of it is uh, about, you know, the same emotions that all of us feel uh, in life, and it's, uh, it's good stuff. So, let's see. This looks like some kind of an art. It is some kind of an art. All right, let's see what we got here. So excited when I saw this. Oh my goodness, that is some kind of an art. I can recognize that face right away. How beautiful. Um, so let's, I hope you guys can see that okay, but let's find out if there is a note. Let's see, there's a cute little sticker here. <laughs> Aww. 
Not now. It's, it's a cat unicorn sitting on a cloud, and it says, not now, I'm downloading rainbows. That is the coolest thing. I completely love it. You've also included your business card, which doesn't say you are a, a uh, musician. It says you are a singer, songwriter, creative type. That's a pretty good description. And apparently, you're Sarah Donner everywhere except on Instagram where you're Sarah Donner Party. That's a bit of a grim joke, but uh, I've always liked that. So cute. And uh, here you have MobyKitRescue.org. Uh, that is the, uh, the charity, Moby Kit Rescue. I'll put that right there. Okay, let's see, though. I think there is a note, a big note. Uh, Mr. A, can't wait to hang out at KACON. Hope this little one is doing well. Sarah Donner, and she's drawing a little kitty here with a heart, a big heart. That's so appropriate and wonderful. Ooh, so uh, Sarah um, has put on a concert at uh, almost every KA Con, and it's been wonderful. I just, I can't thank you enough for that. Um, she's never asked us for a single dime for that either. She's, uh, she's done it all just for the charity of it. So, you know, she's a wonderful giving person. And, uh, and you also say this, which I did not know. P.S. I'll be doing portraits at my booth for anyone who wants a commission. How about that? Now, that's super exciting, too. I am really excited about that. I'm super excited about KACON, and uh, I'm excited to see you there. Uh, hopefully, this is just here for protection, I think. There's nothing in this part. Yes, there's not. Uh, so sweet. I've got to put your card, though, with this art, which is going to be... It's so touching. DJ is going to cry when she sees this. I'm almost in tears myself, but I'm holding it back for the sake of mailbag. Um, I want to put these right here. I know I, I've said this before. Uh, when we have uh, wonderful, wonderful art that, that people have sent to us, oh, this is spectacular. Um, I, I've always uh, um, had our framer in the past make a little pocket in the back where I put the card that came with it, so we always have them together. Uh, and we don't have that framer, of course. It was someone in Illinois, but uh, I, I can probably make a little pocket for that myself or just tuck it behind the picture. Uh, either way, I'll, I'll make sure that it stays with it because that's just fantastic. Sarah, thank you so much. You're just you're such a great and generous person, and, uh, and I'm excited to see you again. So thank you very much for that. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to try to leave this standing here. I just don't want anything to, to get mixed up by the kittens or lose the cards or, I don't know, any of the random things I might do. Oh, it looks like she crawled back in here. Now they're curled up together, taking a nap. So that's cute. Okay, let's put this... I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Wow. So I was excited to open that. That was even more exciting than I thought. I just, I don't know what else to say except, uh, except thanks sincerely so much. That's, that's so wonderful. I, I know that's going to go directly on our wall and, and DJ is going to treasure it. Uh, as will I, of course. I don't, I don't want to put that entirely on her, but I just, you know, um, uh, it means a lot to me when, when she, there's something that I can do that she enjoys. Actually, on that topic, and this is, this is a, a heck of a change of topic, but I was at the grocery store yesterday, and I saw jackfruit, giant, huge, I don't know if you're familiar with jackfruit, but, you know, they're conservatively, you know, like this, like a, like a giant watermelon, that's the smallest size jackfruit. And um, if you've never had one, I say that they taste like juicy fruit gum. If you've ever had juicy fruit gum, the fruit in juicy fruit, I don't know if it is jackfruit, but I'm not the only one who thinks they taste alike. So that's a lot what it's like. Anyway, DJ has always been a big fan of jackfruit. It's a tropical fruit. She grew up with it. So on the very rare occasions it turns up at the grocery store, I always grab one and bring it home. And it is a mess to try to take a whole jackfruit and turn it into the edible jackfruit. And uh, it's like the stickiest thing in the universe. And it just gums up everything it touches. Like it won't even wash off. It's like that kind of gum where you have to use like goo gone or something like serious to get, your knife will like get stuck on things. It's, oh. Anyway, so I, I took it yesterday. I parted it all out. I got it all ready for her. She was so excited. She came home, and, uh, and we ate some, and it turns out that she is allergic to the Mexican jackfruit, at least. Um, maybe all jackfruit now. Maybe it's one of those things that just develops later in life. Uh, but she, her, she swelled up a little bit, and it was, uh, you know, she's fine, of course, but 
um, I, I guess I got onto that topic because, you know, it's things that you do for your loved one um, that, you know, you want to make them happy. And then it just turns out to not do that at all. <laughs> I've, uh, I felt a little bad about it. Now I have a giant tub of jackfruit that I have to eat by myself. And I'm not even that much of a fan of it. Like, I think it's all right, but I just, I don't go for it on my own. So I've got to find ways to use it up, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, but it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, so that's a long-winded way of saying thank you, Sarah, um, for making up for the jackfruit. No, I, that, those weren't actually connected thoughts, uh, but that's okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> all right, we have to move on from that, whether we like it or not. This is another one that I was kind of excited to open. Uh, mostly, I just thought it was funny that, um, you know, I always mention there's only one person that would send us the triangle, uh, Lone Star. No, um, uh, it, of course... Um, but this time, you've apparently caught on to that because uh, you've written from Guess Who. I'm going to guess it's from Janice C., uh, but let's find out here <laughs> just to make sure. This is typically how you've sent noodle sticks for every single class since the noodle stick was invented. Uh, I mean, I, you would say it not invented by you, but I think it basically invented by you. Let's see here. I'm going to give you credit anyway. You know how the internet is. Um, you know, if you get well known enough for something, it doesn't matter if you invented it or not. You invented it. That's how it works. And that's exactly what appears to be in the box. And there is the note. So let's take a look at the note. Uh, sorry if I'm a little sniffy. I don't know how well the microphone picks that up, but probably too well. Uh, all right. Aw, this is so cute. It's a fireman rescuing a little orange kitty from a tree, and it says, you are my hero on the tree. Uh, and the little kitty's got the happiest expression on his face. That's adorable. And inside it says, Mr. A and DJ, thanks for going out on a limb for all the kitties you bring into your home slash the academy. You are amazingly kind and dedicated and give me hope for the world. Sending spoogles to you and all the kitties. Loved, Janice C. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, and, oh, okay, that's DJ. DJ, you should take this and put it somewhere. Do you recognize this boy? Yeah. So this is Sarah Donner did this for us. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it really is. I don't, if you want to take it now or I'll bring it out after mailbag if you don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. That's fair enough. Yeah. Look at Rami up here in the bowl. Oh, you missed it. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Wow. Were you letting someone in or out or something? No. No, just came by to say hi? She's on my Oh, oh, your appointment. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, have fun. I guess I'm in charge now. Okay. Oh, look at this. Wow, you sent them for everybody. So this is for Serenity. Uh, Nibbles gets the orange. Goblet gets this navy blue. You have so many colors of these. Spatula gets this green. Uh, Ramekin with this sort of red. I guess that is a red. Uh, let's see. Teaspoon is purple. And Spork is this yellow. Uh, those are great. They are going to love those. And then we've got a set here for Puddles. And I see Drizzle and Brawly. Uh, let's see. Drizzle is gray. Brawly is this red. Bud is this sort of fluorescent, uh, it's not quite pink. I guess, I guess it's sort of pink. Uh, we'll say pink. Uh, Raindrop is that navy blue. Sprout is this beautiful green. Wellington gets a yellow and Squall gets this purple. Uh, so all unique colors, wonderful. These are great cat toys, frankly. They really are. We always keep some around for, to play with the kittens. It's usually one of the first toys that they get exposed to. And they love it. Now, this is going to be intimidating to her because it's so much coming at once. What do you think of that? She's staring at it. I don't know if you can see her little face there in the corner. She's definitely watching it. They're not very good at tracking things yet at her age, but uh, she's starting to figure it out. So thank you so much for these. I'm going to put it here, which is going to become the endowment pile. Um, uh, Janice C., thank you so much for sending those for every class. I know they are greatly appreciated, and it's cute that they each get their own with their own little name tag on it. I just love it. Um, but we got to keep rolling here, so let's see. This is, oh, Hell's Dells. Wow, okay, it's an all-celebrity show today. Hell's Dells. 
Oh, and you've packaged everything separately. I'm just going to dump it out here unceremoniously. Isn't that cute? All right. Um, there's a note here. The note says, Hi, Chris, DJ, cats and kittens, gift for, gifts for puddles, her original kids, and something for serenity, all labeled. Love, Helen, Hells Dells. Well, thank you so much. Uh, let's see what we have. Serenity, now, or endowment. It seems fuzzy. Oh, I think yes. This is that big, furry square. Um, you sent one of these before, and it's in our bedroom, and it's got this fur on one side and uh, fabric on the other side, and it's filled with probably batting and catnip. And I'm guessing that's bud on my back again, uh, probably. Anyway, this makes a great kicker, or um, also a, a cute way for little kittens to have something fuzzy because it's so big. So I know that uh, you said this one's for Serenity. Yes, Serenity. Serenity will love this too. I've, actually, if I give it to Serenity now, the problem that we're going to have is that Raindrop has become a huge fan of the real fur toys. And if you've heard the last couple days on the live stream, uh, if you've heard growling up in her room, it's because every time Raindrop picks up one of those real fur toys that's in the room, she'll run around the whole room with it and growl at everybody, like, keep away. Even if there's nobody around, she'll growl, too. Like, like she just is so excited about those as toys. So, uh, so if I put that into Serenity's room, these guys have been allowed to visit her uh, regularly, every day. And uh, I know that they would get stolen almost immediately by Raindrop. Uh, but Serenity's doing better every day, and I think soon enough we'll be looking for all of her own toys. We do see her playing with some of the stuff in her room now, which is wonderful. Uh, this says, for deployment, anywhere. Oh, wow. Uh, so these are a, a assortment of things. We have this cute little star. Um, oh, I thought this was multiple toys, but it is uh, just a braid, and the braid has this fur in it, which makes it especially cool. That's fun. And then the, it's the other pieces are like a fleece. So we have a fleece and fur braid. That's super awesome, actually. I bet the kittens are going to love that. And then we have uh, one of these that is the, um, uh, what do you call that fly fishing technique where you, you uh, wrap it in strings so the little uh, tassels, the uh, little bristles uh, stick up. Um, just like the Maggie Mouse, Maggie's favorite toy. That's what this is, except this one's a little bird. It's even got a little tiny beak on it and little eyes, and it's got feathers built in. So this is some real fancy uh, fly fishing uh, technique here. And it's even got a little loop in the front so we can attach it to one of the wands, and uh, Maggie is going to go insane for this. That is her favorite thing in the world. Of course, everybody likes these. They are a big hit. Uh, I say these, I've never seen one that's a bird like this with the feathers and everything, but the, it's uh, just like the bees and the mice that we get on the regular that are a, a huge hit for everybody and well sought after. And then this is a cute little happy bumblebee with glittery wings and antenna. He's adorable. Uh, thank you for all that. I'm going to put it back in the bag for now, but that, uh, especially in little Maggie's bee, uh, bird, I should say, is going to be a big hit. So thank you for those. Uh, not with the endowments. This one goes with the other stuff. I don't really have a place for yet. Okay, we'll figure it out. Puddles Originals. Okie dokie. I guess that means the medium kittens. And what if they... Oh, no. Okay, so these are all for raindrop, apparently. Here you've got these triangle mice. Uh, they're made of fur with a leather tail. Oh, very fun toys. Oh, but this one's the same triangle mouse with a fur and a fur tail. And we have another one here with a leather tail. And we have this one that is just a leather, uh, I'm sorry, a fur ball. Um, and that's exactly the kind of thing that Raindrop has been running around with. And then this one, which is like a miniature version of that pillow with fabric on one side and fur on the other. These will be a huge hit. I know Raindrop is uh, going to be all growly about them. So I know they'll all appreciate it at some point. I just I don't even know if the others have had a chance to play with those kinds of things because Raindrop is such uh, so possessive of hers. So, which is great. Uh, you love to see it when they love a toy. <clears throat> and then we have this says puddles. Okay, puddles, very familiar. Oh look at that. That's a beautiful print on this side. And the fur on that side. Puddles will love it. And. Another one for Puddles and the Kids. Oh, here we go. I explained at the start the reason why Puddles isn't here 
is uh, she's not going to start an actual fight, but she gets very hissy still around other cats. So I wouldn't want to put the other cats through that stress, mostly, of being hissed at repeatedly. Um, but here we go. So here we've got the, the classic sort of cloth mice with the little uh, string tail that uh, Logan loves to pay, play fetch with these. And then here we have, uh, I guess I'll call them matchsticks, but they're little tiny silver vine sticks, and each one has a feather that sticks out the end. Also a big hit uh, and a fun little toy. So these are great. Thank you so much for those. Here we go. Right back in the bag for now so we don't forget who's what. And then one more. Hellstells, it's so nice of you to send all this stuff from across the pond. Uh, oh, I didn't read the label on this one. Okay, Puddles and the Kids, once again. Perfect. And this one is, oh, a bunch of little random stuff. Woodland creatures. Look at this. This is like a deer, a doe, I guess. Uh, it must. Uh, they don't have antlers, though, do they? I guess I don't know. Oh, my goodness. What's going on? Uh, anyway, it's got a crown, though. That's super cute. That's the cute part. So a little deer with, with wearing a crown. It's adorable. Uh, here we have a fuzzy, uh, just ridiculously fuzzy sheep. His face is almost lost in all the fuzz. That's super cute. A uh, koala bear with a little flower embroidered. Super adorable. A uh, matching uh, elephant. A giraffe. And, ooh, a lion with a crown also. These are just great. I love that little set. That's a cute set of, of adorable, absolutely adorable little animal heads. So thank you for those. The kittens will love them. And we'll make sure that those either get deployed or endowed uh, as appropriate. So thank you very, very much. Uh, let me have a sip of this coffee here. Hi, what are you looking for? Did you hear something might be for you, Nibbles? Nibbles gets along with everybody. She is not a problem. And therefore, she's earned herself just complete freedom around the house. She gets to go... She, she hasn't been locked up in as long as I can remember now. She gets to just go wherever, whenever. Never a problem. And I've even seen her playing with Maggie, which is like the ultimate achievement to get a mom cat to play with Maggie instead of trying and starting a fight. Uh, she's, she's pulled it off somehow. So real special when it comes to that. Okie dokie. This says Miracle Droplets is who this is addressed to. And I guess that's these kids right here. Time for Welly and Squall to get their long tail mice. Please deploy for them today. By the way, you're doing an awesome job as their foster mom, even though you don't tongue bath them from Joe and her cat Halfers. Thank you, Joe and Halfers. Oh, that was uh, just a hiss between, I think it was Brawly. Oh, wow, somebody nibbles. Oh, no, Nibbles is clearly trying to play. She just smacked Brawly, and then she did like a little thing that she's like, see, I'm trying to play with you, but Brawly doesn't get it. She's a little upset. Brawly, come here. Brawly, come here. Hi, come hang out with me. I know you love to sit in my lap, especially after somebody's abused you. Okay, Joe and Halfers, you've sent the long-tailed mice. I'll tell you what, I'll put one in there with them right now. Since I know there's four in a pack, the other ones can go uh, for later or for their endowment. But I have to tell you, uh, they're still not quite tracking toys very well. Uh, probably in the next week they'll get it figured out. So uh, so they may not be entirely ready for this, but it's nice and fuzzy, so I think they'll like having it around. We'll put it right in there with them right now. They're both sound asleep at the moment. There we go. That matches the inside of their uh, little box very well. So, uh, Joe and Halfers, thank you so much for that. Um, uh, where am I putting stuff for them? I don't know. I need to label it, too, so I don't forget. Oh, boy, so much hissing all of a sudden, right after I finished saying that nobody was uh, ever a problem. Okay, uh, Squaw. Hey, hey, Nibbles, Nibbles. Wow. Squall and Welly, okay. Uh, huh. You know, cats, they just they have to make a liar out of you every time. Uh, she's, she is obviously trying to teach the little kittens who is boss, um, and that's fine. I'm sure they'll get the lesson soon enough. I've said it before that when Nibbles first arrived, she was just like Puddles, where she had to hiss at everybody and tell them to stay back, and then once she got the proper respect, now she gets along. So it looks like she's just going through that same adjustment period with the new kids, uh, which is fine. Okay, Kitten Academy, as you see fit. So let's 
Uh, these things never open for me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, I think you said, I think, I think we know exactly who, what this is and who it's from. Uh, because we got one of these in last week's mailbag, and then you reached out to say that you'd sent a couple of them, and so these are clearly the others. Uh, and it doesn't say here, but I think this was Frozen Tundra Crew, right? I don't want to give credit to the wrong person, um, and my memory just doesn't work very well, but I think that's who this was. So they're the, the really nice, the large size baby blankets that have this beautiful little lavender pattern with a unicorn sleeping on the moon which I absolutely love. So now I think we have three of those, and thank you very, very much for that. I'm going to put those right over here. And I'm going to say thank you, Frozen Tundra Crew, because I'm, I think that's right. Uh, fingers crossed. So that's what we're going to go with. Brawly. All right. I, hi, I know. Okay, well, you take it out on me then. All right, this one is just addressed to Kitten Academy. Well... I always am somehow able to lose that knife. You know, we used to have it attached to a big thing, so I couldn't lose it, and then the thing fell off, and now I just lose it constantly. There we go. We'd put it under a kitten. I guess that would explain it. Ooh, springs. All right. Um... Well, this is interesting because it, it seems as though it got shipped straight from the manufacturer instead of through Amazon. Uh, so it seems like they probably have not, in fact, left a note. Um, but I think it did get bought through Amazon. So I don't know for sure who sent it. I do know, um, I, th I think it's Tahini that typically sends the springs. Is that is that right? Um I think so. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't know because there is no note, um, so I can't say for sure who sent it. But these are great, and these kittens recently discovered springs. And uh, look at that. They're pulling these things out. i got to put them somewhere. Um, that almost always happens with these because they're such a hit. Okay. Hang on. Uh, I don't really have any place to put them for now except under my leg. I just don't want them to all get lost or played with too much while I'm not looking. So anyway, the springs, uh, these guys recently discovered springs within the last few weeks, and it has been a favorite toy that you see them running around with fairly often now. So this will be a big hit, and I'm going to put them in this pile of things to endow, assuming that is the purpose that they should go to. And thank you very much to whomever may have sent those. Uh, this says Joy F. Okay, there it is. I thought I lost my knife again. Oh, look at that. There's two more. There was four, five, six. All right. So I guess we know that that's probably for the middle group. We'll find out. Uh, Joy F. Ooh, it looks like a marshmallow bed in a beautiful lavender color. Let's see. Does it say it's a bed or does it say it's a blanket? It doesn't say. Those the words got cut off in the middle. It says soft plush, dot, 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 ashable gradient purple. Uh, I'm sure that means washable, but that part, the W was cut off. Uh, I can see it's a bed. It's got the bed bottom on it, though. So this is a beautiful lavender marshmallow bed. I love that color there. That's really pretty. And it just says, enjoy your gift from Joy F. Well, uh, thank you. If you, uh, you know how to get in touch with me. If you had something specific you wanted that to go to, let me know. Um, otherwise, it can go into sort of, uh, I think, a general use slash endowment. If somebody really likes one of these beds, but we don't have enough to send them one home, we can always send them one that way. Um, or we, we do end up deploying and using a fair number of these. So... Um, I would give these, the medium kids, uh, Brawly and Crew one, but Brawly, I think Brawly, I'm still blaming Brawly even though I haven't actually caught her doing it. Um, I caught her once like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago now, uh, peeing in some place that wasn't the litter box. Uh, she's the only one I've seen do it, uh, even though it was so long ago, so every time it happens now I blame her. And this is exactly the kind of thing that she absolutely would pee on. So I'm not going to give them anything like that yet. I'm hoping to get her over that. But we had uh, uh, something almost just like this in the basket last night, and this morning it was peed on. Uh, so I'm still blaming her for that. I'm blaming you for that. You've got to start using the litter box for all the pee, not just some of it, all of it. You hear me? 
We'll get that sorted out. She'll figure it out eventually. Hopefully. Like, I don't know. We've got Logan Barry. He's never fully figured it out, but we still love him. So, all right. Let's see. This says just says Kitten Academy, but I think we all know who this is from based on the little drawings on the side. Let's see if I can open it. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Oh, the note. Oh, it's so cute. It's got a pineapple and coffee on the front. That's a cool pineapple sticker. Wow. Uh, pineapple, coffee. It says, but first, coffee. Yeah, tell me about it. All right. Uh, this is the, no, this is the keeping pile, and this thing over here, okay, hardly separated is the discard pile, difficult, okay, oh, this is so cool, this is, um, I don't know, maybe chalk, uh, drawing of a bunch of kittens sitting around what appears to be a table covered in donuts and pizza, and they're each playing a stringed instrument, uh, I see what looks like a, a lute, and probably some ukuleles, and, uh, uh, I don't see a banjo. Interesting. Party and all the way off in the background. That's interesting too. What a cool uh, little artwork there. I don't know what that is all about. I guess the credit is, oh, it says ukulele pizza party cats. All right. Well, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> How cool. Hmm. Okay. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, kittens, and KA community. Fancy handmade dragon maker wings for Ms. Nibbles and the Qtensils. Nothing fragile in this package. Okay, I'm giving up on trying to get as many bingo boxes covered for us all in for all us bingo fans, you know, like lobster, poop, donkey, K Acon, pineapple, etc. Hee hee. Uh, <laughs> no more delay in getting the note to Dragon Maker so she can ship the wings. It will be time for the next shipment before too long. It has been such a delight watching the five rescue babies with Ms. Puddles and her five big brothers and sisters. So many times I've just died. Thank you for taking them in. It looks like it has been a lot of work for you. Thank you for all you and Dr. DJ do for the whole crazy bunch of us cats and people. You are greatly appreciated. Please nose boop a kitty for me. Um, all boop. There you go. Uh, all the best. Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. Aw, thank you, Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. And thank you, Dragon Maker, who I know made these. Uh, these are the Dragon Maker catnip wings. Always a big hit. The catnip you use is fantastic, and the kittens always love it. These guys might be just a little young to appreciate it. Although, oh, you seem interested, huh? What is it? Okay, whoa, that is such a scent, too. Uh, that's a lot of catnip. So we've got them in various colors here. They've all got the rainbow on the front and then various different backings. Beautiful. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Just perfect. So they're going to love these. These will be great for their endowment. The, they'll be at just the age to appreciate it, too, when they go home, I think. So uh, let's see. I'm not going to put the card with it. I'm going to hang on to that. But I want to make sure that this is for nibbles and the utensils. All right. So I'm going to label it so that I don't lose track of that as I'm sorting these endowments soon because those adoptions are coming up soon. Real mixed feelings there. Of course, you know, we have to do the adoptions. We can't keep them all as much as uh, DJ and I both probably would like to. Okie dokie. Um, where are we at here? Let's open this big box here. It might be useful in organizing some things. Ooh, cold coffee. All right. Uh, let's see. On the outside, it just says Kitten Academy, so no clues there. Oh, all right. I think we recognize it, and I think it's going to provide a clue to a previous package. How about that? Uh, because what we have here is a box full of ball towers. Um, uh, by the way, um, Teaspoon's favorite toy is the ball towers and the ball tracks. Uh, he's, he really goes for that stuff. It's so cute. Okay, 
So we have a whole bunch of those. I'm not going to pull them out. Plus, we have a whole bunch of uh, fun tubes. And I'm looking, I'm hoping there's a note in this one. I just said I'm not going to pull them all out, but I have to to look for the note. <laughs> there it is. Something, anyway, paper. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, perfect. Just what I thought. Dear kittens of puddles, we hope you enjoy some of our favorite toys, love, tahini, and flair, just like I said. I think that, I hope that's what I said. I'm going to put the springs in there, because I assume, even though it doesn't say so, that the springs are part of the same deal. And I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to try to find that note again, because I've already forgotten this is for puddles, though, right? I just want to make sure that I don't label it wrong. Yes, puddles. Okay, perfect. Just what I thought. Let's label the whole box as being for Puddles and Co. I really got to clean out this uh, box now. Okay, let's see. Puddles and Co. 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 I don't know what I'm writing anymore. Puddles with an S E? What is wrong with me? Oh my goodness. Who who would do that? That's just ridiculous. It's gone way too far now. Uh, all right. It is what it is. Let's see. Let's grab some stuff from back here. This is very cute. Oh yeah, I was excited about this one too. It got buried under everything when we brought it in, but this is from Alto Clarinet Lady. And it's got these really cute little cat stickers on it. Uh, this guy especially. Oh, this one's getting his head padded. That's <laughs> so adorable. All right, Alto Clarinet Lady. Let's see what we got here. So many exciting ones on today's mailbag. Not so many exciting ones on every mailbag, if I'm fair, but uh, I guess familiar names is what I should say. This box has a built-in knife buffer. Oh, very cool. I guess it is very well protected. We have the loat, which is a letter slash note. Uh, that makes sense. And I see some, I see some uh, Tupperware in here, some uh, uh, little plastic containers, which must mean cookies, right? Let's find out. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hello from Montreal. This is Alto Clarinet Lady sending you a package. I'm sending something practical, blankets for kittens. I hope they are the right kind. I'm also sending things I made a poster board piano, and some little clay hedgehog Christmas ornaments. I love hedgehogs. Uh, sometimes I sell items like these on Etsy, and sometimes I give them to friends as gifts. I'm also sending you my favorite cookie mix. It might seem weird to send a cookie mix, but the cookies that it makes are unbelievably delicious. I've sent some fancy vanilla as well to get started with the mix. I've also included a pineapple ramekin and cookie cutter just for fun. Thank you for all that you do. Have a nice weekend. Love, Emily, who is Alto Clarinet Lady. Well, thank you so much. That is really exciting. Um, I'm excited to see all of that. So let's see. Uh, oh, these must be the hedgehogs. Oh, they're so cute. So I thought this was for sure was going to be cookies, but it's not. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, so you said, I think you said a paper piano? Because that is that's what it is, but I thought this is not what I was picturing. A poster board piano. It's uh, it's way more detailed than I thought, though. I was picturing I don't know like a drawing of a piano, but this is a piano. It's got a it's a grand piano. It's got the little top open as you can see there. It's got the keyboard. It's even got the foot pedals that come down in the front. So tiny, and it's labeled 2023. And it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, I am so impressed by that. And then you've also included, I see why you put it in here to keep it nice and safe. That seems super fragile. Uh, the hedgehogs, oh, they're so cute. They look like, um, they look like Christmas hedgehogs. Each one has a string that comes out of its back so you can hang it from a Christmas tree. They're very tiny and they're each are decorated with little Christmas colors. This one has a red and green ribbon on him. As you can see, a little hedgehog. Do they have wild hedgehogs in Canada? Uh, I don't. I don't know if we do have any in North America. Uh, although I guess I don't actually know. Um, but I, I do think they're lovely. And then you've sent two. So we've got a big one with a red and green ribbon on it, and two little ones. One with a red ribbon and one with a green ribbon. 
and they each have their own little string to hold them, and they are so cute. Uh, I love them. I think I think that's adorable. And like I said, I really do like hedgehogs. I had a pet, one of those, uh, an African pygmy hedgehog uh, for a while when I was younger, and it was so fun. Uh, those they have surprisingly long legs. When they get running and they they stick their legs out like you would not expect it. You think they got like little stubby legs, like a like you know, because they because they're little stubby animals. That's what you would think. But then they they stand up as they run, and their legs are freakishly long and skinny. It, it's really weird to see. Um, I also remember that their poop was super sticky and would stick to everything. And I also remember uh, um, that they loved mealworms. In fact, they would get so excited about mealworms, they would start to make little like uh, snorty noises uh, and just just freak out and get super super excited about eating mealworms. Oh my goodness, uh, <clears throat> so cute. Okay. Uh, here we have the pineapple ramekin and pineapple cookie cutter. That ramekin is really cute. That'll make it actually a great little cat food dish, won't it? For Maybe for feeding pregnant mom cats out of. Uh, that is adorable. It's exactly the right size for that. And I think it would work pretty well. So that could be really fun. I'm going to put that, actually, this all belongs over here with the stuff that I need to put away with our things. So thank you for that. Uh, there is more. These are exactly right. You sent some receiving blankets in a lovely teal color. I find so appealing, and uh, I'm going to take it out of the plastic just so we can get a better look. We've got uh, teal and gray zoo animals, uh, or wild animals. We've got lions and elephants and uh, hippopotami, and then on this side we've got some patterns that match it, these little arrows. Oh, and those little arrows, all arrows, perfect. Uh, those are really beautiful too, so thank you so much for that. And... I want to not miss anything. There is a little something wrapped up here. Oh, the vanilla. Oh, my goodness. This says Madaga organic Madagascar vanilla extract. Wow. That sounds like the really good stuff. So uh, thank you for that. And uh, to go with it, we have a gluten-free sugar cookie gourmet cookie mix. Unforgettably delicious. Now that's interesting. I've never seen a cookie mix to which you uh, bring your own vanilla to add. It makes perfect sense though, and it really says a lot about how legitimate it is, because that's something that you couldn't you couldn't really put into a mix legitimately, right? You'd, you'd have to have it be a separate thing. So we add an egg, some butter, and some vanilla extract. That is that is like a real legit uh, cookie mix. So that's going to be. I bet it is really yummy, and I will I will definitely find out, believe me. Uh, so thank you so much for the little vanilla and the uh, cookie mix. I, I do appreciate it. So that will be of, uh, of great use here. Thank you so much, Alto Clarinet Lady. That is really kind of you. And that little piano and the hedgehogs are so cute. They'll have to go straight into our box of very special things. Um, all right. Next up, oh, oh, look, another exciting one. Yes, so much excitement. Uh, this one is from Sage's Handmade. And I know the knife is out. There it is, okay. And it's addressed to Serenity. So this is probably a kick bunny for Serenity. I guess she gets one even though she turns out to be a preg not uh, in the end, uh, in a manner of speaking, I suppose. This says, The Note big font so we can, all can read it. And it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, huge hugs and respect to you both for persevering through the recent challenging time at the Academy. Your kindness and grace in the face of it all have been amazing, and I'm so glad we have the kind of community we do who supports each other so well. Boy, I am too. I can't say enough about that. Uh, I was especially grateful for KA and Discord after a pretty major family emergency the other week. It truly is the best place on the internet, trademark. I made Serenity's kick bunny... It's not trademark, by the way. That's what it says in here. I, I, um, I made Serenity's kick bunny long before we knew she wouldn't be raising kittens, but it would be silly not to send it to her anyway, so here it is. The KA Discord voted for the aqua, a.k.a. mint, and turquoise colors. Oh, that sounds beautiful. And it is beautiful. I love those colors. Uh, to complement her lovely gray coat. And indeed, it will. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Those are great colors. I don't know how well they show up on the camera, but 
uh, again, it's sort of the same sort of teal uh, uh, color scheme that I like so much. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, if you think it would help her feel better, uh, oh, feel free to deploy it now if you think it would help her feel better or put it into her endowments. As always, the kick bunny is made of sturdy 100% cotton yarn and stuffed with a combination of yow and from the field organic catnips and Meowie Jane silver vine powder. For anyone who would like to crochet their very own kick bunny, the pattern is at my Etsy shop along with some other goodies for cats and humans. That's at sageshandmade.etsy.com. Again, I want to commend you and DJ on how you've handled the last few weeks, but I also want to remind you that help is here when you need it. Any number of localish KA discorders would leap to deliver food, scoop litter boxes, take out the trash, and spoogle, spoogle the smalls. <laughs> Excuse me, easy for me to say. <clears throat> and any willing faculty. Please remember this for the future. After all you've given to us through Sharing Kitten Academy, we're more than happy to help you and DJ however we can. Much love, Sage. Uh, thank you so much, Sage. And uh, I don't think you said, but your Etsy shop, of course. Oh, you did say that's at sageshandmade.etsy.com. Okay, perfect. Uh, thank you so much. This is beautiful. I know she's going to love it. I'm not going to put it out for her quite yet. Uh, I'll wait until she shows some interest in the catnip toys that she has, and then we can decide if she should get her kick bunny now or save it for when she goes home. Either way, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Uh, I know I love it, and I know her adopters, and she will love it at some point. So uh, it already says Serenity here on the outside, so I don't even have to label it. I'll just put it in the growing pile of things to go down to the endowment pile. Oh, my goodness. I'm not looking forward to sorting that. Of course, that happens every time. I'm always like, oh, I dread going down there to try to go through this giant pile of sorting. But then when I actually get into it, I love it because I get to see all the stuff again and remember the notes and uh, just how much everybody loves the kittens. It really does uh, bring a smile to my face. and. Uh, it is it is fun. I just I dread it until I do it. So so I'm in the dread phase right now. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, dear Puddles, we are so glad you were chosen to attend the academy. We hope you enjoy snoozing in one of our favorite beds in your forever home. Love, Tahini and Flair. Oh, thank you. So another one from Tahini and Flair. This one for Puddles, and it is, uh, I believe. A marshmallow bed. Wow, this one is really flattened in there, though. I'm not going to... It's so flattened, I can almost not tell it's a marshmallow bed. Uh, but it is. And it is the big size purple uh, marshmallow bed. That's perfect. I'm going to write uh, puddles on it, and we will add it to the pile of stuff to bring downstairs. Thank you so much, Dini and Flair. Uh, I think puddles will appreciate it. Puddles enjoys a, a, a nice cuddling. I know you guys don't get to see it very much anymore, uh, in part because of sort of her behavior and in part because of this one's behavior. I'm still blaming you. I had to take the beanbag out of her room, so there's no beanbag chair in there for her to cuddle with me on. And uh, I'm going to write general on this so I don't look at it later and wonder if I forgot something. Um, uh, I forgot where my pen is, though, so that's uh, that's already a problem, isn't it? Oh, there it is. I put it back. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying, oh, you don't get to see it very often, but Puddles is a, a great snuggler. You might remember from before she delivered her kittens that she liked to climb up on my chest, and then she would sit there with her face facing my face and rub her nose on me, on my chin, and then lick my nose with her tongue. It's so cute. She still does that. Uh, but right now, she's a little bit more crazy about food than any snuggling. So uh, we have to wait until there's like a quiet moment where we're together. And then she gets right up on my chest and starts rubbing all over my face. Uh, and it's super sweet. Uh, I've been thinking I might want to put a surgical suit on her so the kittens stop nursing. Either that or just separate them even more often. Uh, so that she, she stops nursing because right now she's going through so many calories. And we've seen this happen with plenty of other mom cats that she is thin as a whip uh, and just hungry all the time. And the trouble with that, of course, is that then she'll eat more than she can process and she gets really bad diarrhea. Um, so we've been trying to manage it by sort of keeping her away from the food, but that's not slowing down her nursing. 
So it's time to take it, I think, to the next level. Uh, so you'll either see her in a suit soon, or you'll see even less of her soon, uh, or maybe a little bit of both. We'll split the difference. We'll see. Um, hi, bud. You turn out to be a real shoulder kitty, aren't you? Uh, so, so yeah, we, one way or the other, I think we need to address that for her sake. And, uh, I think she'll, I think she'll be happier about everything in life if we can get that sorted out for her. So, uh, something for us to take care of. Anyhow, uh, just two more packages to go through here. So, oh, aha. Uh, well, I don't know what this is from cause I covered it up, but it has the cutest little cat stickers on it. They're very tiny. Also, a very even smaller one that says, hello. I almost missed that. So, let's see what we've got here. Knife guard. Oh, that's a fancy knife guard. And it's got the rest of the stickers from that set on it. At least I assume. How cool is that? And we have the note. Oh, now I recognize what this is about. Oh, so much excitement in today's uh, mailbag. Um, so here's the note. It is sealed with real sealing wax. And I even recognize the seal now. It's the cat sitting in the archway with the uh, astrological uh, moon symbols above it. Really pretty. And here we go. Uh, this says special wishes just for you, and it's got a kitten that looks just like Teaspoon sitting in a little basket with balloons, and it says wishing you a Mother's Day that's beautiful and bright. Buddy, you feel like you're going to fall right off of there. Yes. Uh, and filled with pleasant moments to make your heart feel light. So sweet. The note says, <clears throat> uh, hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom cats, and the many kittens at the Academy. I do hope everyone is doing well. I know you've been very busy with so many kitties to tend to, so I hope you are taking care of yourself as well. Okay, now, inside this package are some gifts for Nibbles and her utensils. Uh, each kitty gets a ball toy. Hang on. This one is addressed to... Oh, well, that doesn't even count, because this one is addressed to Dr. DJ. Hang on. Let's find one that's addressed to a kitty. Okay. This says to Ramekin and a Duders. It's so cute, too. Uh, I'm going to turn this side up and you can see we've got a carrot and a little uh, rabbit. I think it's a rabbit with eyes. It's got a little triangle nose and what look like long rabbit ears and then a pink ball that matches. So you are saying each kitty gets a ball toy, a carrot kicker pre-dusted with catnip and a bunny toy. There's also a bunny I made from lavender scented yarn. Really? That's, so that's what this is for Dr. D. I got to smell this. Uh, for Dr. DJ, not sure if the scent will remain. Yeah, I'm not sure either, if I'm honest. Hmm, I don't think so. I'm not smelling lavender as such, uh, but it's really pretty anyway. It's a cute little rainbow bunny. Really pretty. Uh, not sure if the scent will remain, but if not, I hope she will still enjoy it. Tiny Teaspoon continues to make me spi smile especially when watching him play with his sisters. I still cannot believe how big Puddle's April Meowers already are, and it, I, I'm already looking forward to seeing Serenity's kittens when they finally make their KA debut. Uh, okay, um, Squall and Welly are just so tiny and adorable. Thank you for taking them in and for all the love and care you provide all these wonderful kitties. Please wish all the mom cats a happy Mama's Day. Give Ari... Uh, Logie and Custard, some extra pets. Tell Maggie I think she is a beautiful, magnificent, floofy kitty. And give my favorite introverted faculty member, Eddie, some pets and cuddles. Oh, and, of course, happy Mom's Day to Dr. DJ, who is just the best cat mom around. Happy Mother's Day to Mom Cats and Cat Mom Dr. DJ from Chrissy Cat 24 on Discord. Chrissy Cat 24 thank you so much. That is really sweet of you. I know DJ uh, is probably going to donate this to Maggie and company, uh, but I think they will get a kick out of it as well. If that's okay with you, I assume that it is. Uh, I guess I, I should ask, though. Um, then you've also sent, the, like you say, a package for each. So this one is addressed to Nibbles and a Duders. It's like cute lavender. Here we have to Spatula. Gets a mint green. Um... Uh, to Goblet, gets this blue, baby blue. 
And teaspoon gets a yellow, a little canary yellow there. And then finally we have spork gets a, I guess that's kind of an orange or maybe more of a, like a coral color there. Beautiful. Those are so great. And there's some loose catnip at the bottom of the box too. I see that. We're going to put all of these back in here for now. And we'll move those along with the endowments, except this one, of course. There we go. Thank you so much, Chrissy Cat 24 These are really cool. I just, I love the things that people make for the adopters because, you know, so much love goes into that and, and time and effort. You know, it's not, none of that comes for free. And uh, it's, it's really greatly appreciated by me and I know by the adopters and I think even by the kitties. So thank you so much for that. Uh, let's put that there. Let's put that over here. And our one final, oh, heavy box. All right, I think. I guess like last week, I could start cleaning up and find that I missed one. Uh, but I think this is it. Look out there, kiddo. Uh, okay. Oh, I should open it from the side that's got the label. No, where is the label? It's on this side. Just says Kitten Academy. All right, well, that's what I was checking. Let's find out here. What do you think, bud? Wow, lots of notes. How are there so many notes in here? Let's see. All right, hang on. Got to sort these real quick. Okay. Good. I think that's it. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff packed in here. Usually Amazon is uh, very sparse packing, but whoever packed this one in Amazon, it was not at all sparse. They really packed it in there. Oh, this is great. Oh, you sent some good stuff. Okay, uh, so the notes, I think we got them all. Uh, okay, this is great. Uh, enjoy your gift, Aquaphor. That's uh, the healing ointment right here. So this is, yeah, you say exactly that. Uh, enjoy your gift, Aquaphor. Good for humans, if not allergic to lanolin. Good for kittens, sore bottoms, better than plain Vaseline. From Breezy Melody One. Breezy Melody One, uh, thank you. Yes, this is exactly the stuff that our vet recommends to use um, on little kitten bottoms if we don't go all the way to the antibiotics, which eventually we did. But uh, it's really nice to have this on hand. I'll put this directly in our kitten medicine cabinet because we do get a little diaper rash here and there. And I think, um, I think that um, at least Mrs. Uh, Squall here uh, might even appreciate a little bit once in a while. Uh, they've really got to figure out that litter box soon. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Breezy Melody one uh, at Gmail. You say Breezy Melody one at Gmail. Uh, okay, enjoy your gifts, gift, serenity, and best place to heal. Um, I don't know which one that is, but we will figure it out. This one says, enjoy your gifts, recommended heat, serenity deserves her own banana. Best because of shape, though this is shorter than the original from Breeze, Breezy Melody one at Gmail. I also don't know what that means, but we are going to try to figure these out. It's like a mystery. I love a mystery. Uh, enjoy your gift for, for grooming orphaned kittens. Much more than you need now. Share with Dawes and Vet. May all the cats and kittens remain in good health or get better soon. Lots of meows from uh, Breezy Melody one at Gmail, of course. Okay, so let's see what we're talking about here. I see. So first off, we have Snuggle Safe Microwave Heating Pad, 10 hours of warmth. Wow, oh, see, that is nice. This is very heavy, and uh, it's a pad, and I don't know what that could possibly be made of. Usually when you see the microwave stuff, it's like a bag of beans. This is definitely not a bag of beans. It is solid and heavy, and uh, it doesn't, you know, it's not squishy like a bag of beans would be. Um, so that's that's got to be very interesting. I'm always interested in different and new technology, so that will be useful for us to try out, I think. Um, that must be, I don't know, serenity and best place to heal. I don't, I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. Like I said, so you also sent a bundle of the Yao catnip bananas, always a big hit. Uh, thank you so much for that. And then I think this is the last thing in the box. Another box that says 14 individually. So whatever it is, this must be much more than you need now for grooming orphaned kittens. But what is it? What is it? 
Let's see. 14 individually wrapped for grooming kittens. Can you even guess what it might be? I can't. It doesn't... Oh, oh, I know what it is now because I read the side of the box. Did any of you read it? Wow. I said 14. It does not say 14. It says 144. Uh, that, is, uh, that is just gross. Uh, disposable toothbrushes. Wow. Uh, that's exactly what they are. They are each toothbrushes. Uh, little gray toothbrushes. 144 of them for grooming kittens. Wow. Wow. Uh, that's fun, and I actually I've tried that out a little bit because somebody has mentioned that to us, and I had a brand new toothbrush uh, up in their room, and uh, it's still set on the the counter up there, and I've tried brushing them with it. And they seem to enjoy it quite a bit, so that's really fun. Thank you so much. That is a lot of toothbrushes. Uh, 144 is a is a gross, right? Did I did I just say gross for no reason, or is that correct? I don't know. Okay, uh, anyway, 144 disposable toothbrushes is awesome. Uh, and uh, that is really, really sweet of you to do. And I will share those around. And I might even steal one for my own teeth. Because, uh, you know, who knows? Uh, thank you for that. I, I do really appreciate it. Thank you so much for helping take care of the kittens. And um, you said your name is breezymelody1 at gmail. So thank you. That's the number one. Um, I think that's that's everything that I think we, we got through all of the things. We got some kittens that are starting to get tired out. They're probably ready to go back to their room for second breakfast and then have their mom come in. Maybe we'll get a suit on her sooner rather than later. Uh, I, I really think that that would do her some good to stop nursing. And it might do these kids some good too to, to just get over that hurdle, you know. Like it's time to cut it off, kids. You've really cost your mom enough already. Oh my goodness, she gives and gives and gives. And what do you do, huh? You just break her little heart. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, you kids sit aside. I am going to turn off the good microphone and I'm going to put all this stuff away and we'll get all the kittens back to where they belong. Uh, thank you guys one more time. Thanks to everybody so much for everything. It's all amazingly wonderful. Uh, I think I'm going to find a way to hang up this teaspoon picture right away. Although, uh, well, we'll see. I think I'm going to. Uh, it's so cute. Uh, what am I doing? I'm looking for the microphone. Okay. away in the morning uh, because he needs to eat his breakfast by himself otherwise he eats too fast and just vomits everywhere which is a problem he had when he was a kitten and then for a long time he didn't have that problem and now it seems to be back uh, pretty consistently so we just feed him alone like we used to uh, we used to feed him in the, the spare uh, in the laundry room at the old place with the little door on it I think there's some pictures of him uh, <laughs> So, uh, but then because of the, the additional trouble of custard, we put him in the laundry room. I'm sorry, we put him uh, in a room for breakfast here. He's in my office today. Uh, and then uh, he usually gets to stay there for a while while custard is out. And then at some point during the day, we switch him. So, uh, yeah, that's how that goes. You are so cute, little Brawly. I just wish we could get your pee problem in line. I know. I still, I'm still blaming her. It could, might not even be her. I, like I said, I haven't seen who's doing it lately. But I'm blaming you. You get all the blame. It's because you're beautiful. Okay. Let's put this stuff away. Hi, kittens. All you kittens sitting on top of kittens. Kittens on kittens in here. Look at all that.
I have no idea where the medium tinies might get to if I have these doors open, but there's nothing dangerous and they shouldn't be exposed to. I just wanted to keep them a little confined during mailbag. So with the doors open now, they got an opportunity to go wander around the entire house. Oh, this is so cute. Little Drizzle has just fallen asleep in one of the boxes back here where nobody would see. So cute. Okay. Bud, you're the only one with any energy right now. Everybody else is falling asleep. Probably, well, maybe Brawly's gonna play. I see uh, Spork is in the wall pod. Very fun. All right, well. Drizzle, you're so cute. You got to give up that spot, okay? I don't want to put you out with the recycling. I know. Why don't you sit up here? Upstairs, downstairs, downstairs, down, down, down. Uh, let's see, I think some of this stuff will fit into here. Let's do it right now. separately anyway. That's fine. Okay. I want to take this down there as well. Okay, Ari. Glad to read more down. Let's go off exploring already. Explore. Oh wow, Raindrop, Drizzle, and uh, uh, um, how come I can never think of Sprout's name? Them all just wandered off to the kitchen dining area. I guess I can put the dining area camera on. I don't know where they're going to go though. I'm not going to be able to keep up while I'm putting stuff away. I think they're all in the kitchen now or something. Well, I'm going to have a fun time trying to find them all in a few minutes when I want to put them away. <laughs> That'll be entertainment. Gosh, this is such a pretty painting of a little teaspoon, and it really captures his expression in his eyes so well. Hmm. Just lovely. Oh.
I decided I just have to put that teaspoon picture up someplace new. I'm gonna have to get out the picture hanging nails and stuff. Uh, so right now it's on the counter. Whoop. This is all stuff that's gonna go down, I think. So let me see if I can get all that oh, downstairs. Okay. I'm surprised what bold explorers those kids are. They're all running around, checking everything out, zooming. I didn't expect that. I expected them to be a little bit more shy about checking out new things. Huh. They have been trying to run out their door fairly often, I guess. No teaspoon, you're in with the tinies? Hi buddy, how long have you been in there for? That's so cute. Three amigos.
You got places to be, Willie? Before you get the things to do. All the big kids are out in the cat run. You don't have to give me the little ones to figure it out. And their mom, two nibbles. I see nibbles, goblet, ramekin, spatula. Spork is still in the pod. Bud is running again. Hi, Bud. Such advanced little kittens. I almost don't want to put them back in their room, but I've got stuff i got to get done, and I can't just leave them out unsupervised yet. I'm not ready for that. They seem like they're ready for it, but I'm not ready for it. Wow. Is that uh, um, Drizzle that's already almost all the way at the big cat tree? Drizzle, that's so impressive. Well, I guess I gotta wrap up the mailbag archive one way or the other. Um, so thank you all so much for joining us for today's mailbag. Thank you to everybody who sent everything. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Of course, if you're watching live, uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs>